but he's got 40 seconds to add. 123.6 plus 40 makes 163.6. Robert Warner then, 12 years old, one of the oldest uh, competitors in the junior heats. He comes from Henley-on-Thames, just outside Henley-on-Thames in Oxfordshire. Lovely part of the country. I wonder if he wrecks that part of the country on his motorbike. He may. 20 seconds fault so far, failing to get the roll back. Just hanging on to it on the bone shaker and the bunny hop catches yet another one. And another one there. He's on a Fantic 7G 5cc machine. Is this bunny hop particularly difficult, Mick, for uh, these young riders? It I mean, is, yes. You need yes. a fair bit of strength. You need a fair bit of strength, yes, and uh, the power also with the machine. They are very small machines. Uh, the skip not causing many problems. Uh, this is where Sean Hoyle came unstuck, but no problems for Robert Warner. That is very slippery now. The seesaw cannot be a lot of fun. But it's a good time. It's very fast, 78.5 plus 80 makes 158.5, he's in the lead. That's the time to beat for young Mark Jackson, sitting here on the starting line, 12 years old, and he comes from Rayton near Oldham in Lancashire. Mark Jackson, 12 years old, he's only a little lad, but uh, one of the older competitors in this junior heat, but instantly got a 20-second fault. Well, we've had a lot of rain during this week. It has stopped now, but the ground is wetter and wetter. If that's possible, he's cleaned the bunny hop. Oh, it's this great to clean the bunny hop with the small machine. So difficult. There's no help at all once they're on the top of those barrels, and I think that the wet and the mud that's been carried on by the wheels makes it almost impossible. It's a very difficult manoeuvre, yes. Anti-clockwise. And he's very fast through the limbo and clean. Well, that should clean the wheels a bit, Nick. Yes, it will, and it'll help him down this next run. This is not a bad time, and he's got 40 seconds of fault only. So he could well go in the lead with this ride, provided he doesn't make a mess of this section. I mustn't say that. The number of times uh, these lads have had difficulty. It looked like a flag, but I can't think of any reason that it would be there for, so I'm going to discount it for the moment, but he's stuck in the bottom of the water. Oh, and he's over again. Oh, no. Oh, this is a disaster for him. You can hear him. Listen to the effort he's putting into that. Well, this is really unfortunate for him. That's muddy, it's nasty, it's gold, and he must be tired now. And he's away on the mud. Well, I'm going to count it at the moment. 40 seconds to add to his time of 121.4 makes 161.4, which would put him in second place. And, in fact, there was an extra 20 seconds for the trouble with that log. I'm not quite sure what caused it, but that makes it 181.4 for Mark Jackson. So he'll be out of it. Wayne Braybrook is next on the starting line. 12 years old, comes from Keithley in West Yorkshire. And the time to beat for him still that 158.5. Quite a slow time. You'd think it should be easily beaten, but all these youngsters having difficulty, particularly with that hazard. Well, it makes a change to have a different make of machine in the competition. Here we have an Italian Eitelejet, 100cc. And watching this lad in practice, he was very good. Just dropped the back wheel onto the top of the bunny hop, but it stayed up, so he's clean there. Just couldn't hold it on the gun barrel. It's debatable, isn't it, Nick, whether they should uh, attack that a little faster. They get through possibly better that way. It would help, I think, yes. 
because they're certainly bad conditions. But he should have the stamina of this boy because recently he was the winner of the uh, two-day Scarborough trial. He's only been riding for three years, so he's a relative newcomer to uh, this kind of sport. And you've got lads of ten who've been riding for seven years. It's uh, a little frightening. Forty seconds against him, but uh, he's much slower than Robert Warner, who is currently in the lead in this heat. Robert had 80 seconds of faults, but he completed the course very quickly, 78.5. See the time ticking away on the right for Wayne. No trouble there for him, or is there? Nearly slipping off the seesaw, nearly losing it on the way out, but 100.9 plus 40 makes 140.9, and he's in the lead. One of the younger competitors, 10-year-old Neil O'Sheen from Rutum in Kent. Time to beat now, 140.9. Don't forget, we're looking for two qualifiers from this, the second junior heat. 20 seconds halt there, but uh, almost everyone's had that. That was a very nice ride, though. Over the bone shake, huh? Making points. a mess of the bunny hop. Possibly not got the strength to kick the backside head over. Dropping off the gun barrel, taking his 20-second full penalty. In fact, the machine looks physically too large for him, doesn't it? That's what I was saying to you, I think, uh, in the previous heat. Uh, Mick, that with these youngsters who really are so small, they look like full-size bikes that they're riding anyway. Yes. But, uh, looking at him riding this machine, I think he'd be better on one of the smaller ones. Spears down into the wooded area to hop over the log fan. It's a good time. He's going pretty well. 60 seconds to add to this. He could well come in for a place. This is a good ride. He's been riding for three years. That means he started when he was seven. Now, is he going to miss this? No, he just gets away with it. It's not bad at all. 90.4, that's not bad, plus 60 makes 150.4, he's in second place. A oh, relative newcomer to this game, 18 months he's been riding, Mike Lanigan, age 12, who comes from uh, Easington in Cleveland, down in the northeast. And all struggling to make this one. In fact, it almost looks like they've given up on it. I think so, yes, but we did have one rider Early on, which uh, cleaned it. That first rider on this heat cleaned it. And, yeah. Uh, there's the bunny hop gone. That's caused the problems for these youngsters. Ooh! That's a nasty fall there. You can see the protection afforded to the motor <laughs> underneath there as it fell. She needs it when they're throwing them around on these sort of things and the skips. But he's a strong boy. Well, he'll have to go a bit now. He really will have to attack the course. This limbo placed in a dip, sort of gully, which ought to make it very difficult, but uh, mostly the riders have managed it. Well through the skip, that's as well ridden as we've seen it done. 60 seconds to add to this elapsed time. Well, he's going to be pushing it to get in. The last one to go in this, the second junior heat. We're looking for two qualifiers. And the time he's got to beat is 140.9. Or rather, 150.4 will get him a place in the final. 60 to add to that, he can't do it. He can't do it, he's out of it. It's quite a good ride from Mike Lanigan there. 108.1 plus 60 makes 168.1. So the two qualifiers, Neil O'Sheen and Wayne Braybrook. Well, there you go. Next week, another heat. The third and final of the heats. So why don't you join us again on Junior Kickstart. Bye-bye.